Good morning. We're here in San Francisco on a beautiful Tuesday afternoon. I'm going to do a quick demo of some new capabilities that we're getting ready to launch for the B and the B Maps app. Let's jump in. From the settings, select Data tab. Here you'll find a new feature called Upload Mode. When you tap this, you'll see three different ways to get your B data uploaded to the Hive Mapper network. The goal is to make it super easy for people to, one, have multiple options for uploading data to the Hive Mapper network, two, switch between them quickly, depending on their needs. With a BLTE device, which I'm currently using, you'll see three options. BLTE, Wi-Fi Connect, and B Maps app. If you have a B Wi-Fi only model, you wouldn't see the LTE option. All right, let's jump in. And the first one is Wi-Fi Connect. This is one a lot of folks have been waiting for and we're excited to share it with all of you. It works very much like connecting a Nest device or a Sonos. In this case, I'm connected to my hotspot called a Quality iPhone. When you see the little blue check mark, it indicates the B is in range of that Wi-Fi network. Once connected, the B will utilize that Wi-Fi network and automatically uploads all its data to the Hive Mapper network. If you wanted to switch to another Wi-Fi network, it's very easy. You just scan for available Wi-Fi networks, select the one you want, enter a password if required, and you're connected. You could connect the B to your phone's hotspot or even a Starlink setup. We're hearing from a lot of people who want to run bees off Starlinks mounted on trucks, vans, or other vehicles. It's a cost-effective option since you don't need a dedicated data plan. Next up is the BLTE mode. If you select the BLTE option, it means you are using a BLTE device with an active SIM card inserted into the device. If you select advanced, you can see details. For example, if you're running a T-Mobile or Helium SIM. It may take a moment, but then it shows that there's an active LTE connection. Once connected, it uses that data plan to automatically upload data. The third option is the BMAPS app itself. This allows you to use your phone to handle uploads. Here's how it works. You can select between two methods. The first is the phone's cellular data. This uses your phone's mobile data plan to upload B data. The second is the phone's Wi-Fi network. This happens automatically when your phone is connected to a trusted Wi-Fi network. The app then downloads data from the B to your phone. Then whichever option you selected, the app uploads that data from your phone to the Hive Mapper network. This makes it a flexible option, especially if you're in an area without LTE or you prefer using the app to upload data to the Hive Mapper network. Now let's take a quick tour of the data tab. On the data tab under history section, you'll see last upload. This shows the last time data was uploaded. For example, just now or five minutes ago. If you haven't been driving, it will simply say there's no data to upload. Also under the history tab are two new columns. These two new columns are fairly straightforward. If uploading through the BMAPS app, data accumulates under the app column. If uploading through BLTE or BWiFi, data accumulates under the B column. That's it. Hope this was helpful and informative. Everyone runs into situations where there's no data plan available. You're in a remote area with no coverage. Or maybe you just want to switch to your new Starlink Wi-Fi. With the new upload modes, it's really easy to switch between options with just one tap. We're very excited to share this with you and can't wait for you to get your hands on it.